Good morning, happy people. Um, I'm going to make a video on my cell phone. Uh, thank you for watching my son's uh, GoPro video. He's uh, learning, so uh, thank you for being patient with him. We're going to keep working on that process. Uh, we'll have some more videos on some uh, more detailed stuff uh, coming in the future. Um, what I wanted to do this morning, though, is, is I wanted to go over what happens when your part doesn't work. So you do the whole vacuum uh, encapsulation process, and you have problems. So let's talk about some of those. So as you can see, from time to time, I get warps, where the epoxy has basically pooled in an area, and due to the exothermic reaction, as expected, you end up with a problem. And basically the plastic caves in and then the pressure from the atmosphere when it's in the vacuum bag uh, kind of screws up the part. So that's a problem. Now, one of the things I can do is I could just throw some uh, fiberglass reinforced body filler in there and then throw another layer of carbon fiber on top. That kind of rubs against my grain a little bit uh, because the thickness of the body filler would have to be more than I want. Um, so anyway, what we're probably going to try is uh, carbon fiber slurry uh, with uh, epoxy. Um, now that takes a while to cure, so that means that we have to have gravity working for us. We can't just sla slap it on the uh, side of the uh, part here. We're going to have to take it off, um, fill it, and then uh, we'll cover it with another layer. So that's, uh, that's part of that process. You can see though that the process does work for other panels like this door. Uh, this door is a very good example of how you want it to turn out. So nice and smooth and um, very strong. Okay. So, and then we have other issues that we want to attempt uh, that is kind of surface quality issues, but that's okay because again, we're going to paint the car, but if you're not painting the encapsulated uh, carbon fiber, these can be an issue. Okay. Um, we also have other problems like uh, when we uh, can have breakthrough like here. We're going to want to try that method on this type of thing. Uh, this whole rear fascia needs some attention because it uh, obviously has issues, but it didn't work. So that's a big, that's a huge plus. You know, not having a warped part, having a part that you can actually use. Um, but we will need to address some of these uh, issues. Now, most of these panels are not going to be... Uh, as you would say, structural, right, to the car. But we want them to look nice and we want them to last. So that's why we're going through this extra effort. Now we could print out a new uh, rear end. I'm a little against that because uh, that would be my fifth uh, rear fascia that I printed out. And so I'm gonna save this one. And uh, we're gonna experiment together so, you know, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll have more on this uh, as we move forward. Um, we're going to do some more detailed stuff. We've got a um, tripod for the phone, so hopefully uh, we'll be using the phone since it gives really good video quality. Um, but we'll put it on a tripod so I can uh, show you more detail. Anyway, thanks again for watching and thanks for being patient with, uh, with us and our videos. We're not videographers, um, we're car builders, so we're trying to do the best we can, but uh, it's much appreciated. So thanks again for watching, uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and uh, thanks again, bye.